The lady who just asked uh, the question, my friend from SOS, she will know better that uh, SABC we have put uh, RFP book, which is uh, more than 100 and more than 600 million rands, moving from 121 million rands for the first time in the history of that organization. That money is, uh, 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 is, is assured to make sure that we make sure that we make sure that we produce local content, especially in different uh, provinces. I know there is an issue now about the, that process where people are unhappy, some of people, especially from provinces. And reason being because uh, you don't have big production houses in those other different uh, provinces. What we have been doing at the SABC is those big uh, uh, production houses, they should make sure that they partner with emerging small production houses from different provinces so that we can give them business. But if they are not going to partner with those provinces, we are not going to be able to do business with them. But the fact of the matter, this industry called production houses, they have been controlled by white people most of the time. Those people who are making noise, because now we are making sure that the, the cake is shared by everyone. People who are making noise are those production houses which are big, and uh, when they are saying they are partnering, you only have people, they are not shareholders, they use their faces, mm. which we are not going to allow at the SABC. Those faces as black people using them, not even paying them well. So we are very aware of these matters. Who are these people who are making this big noise, saying they represent the public? Actually, when they march to SABC, there are 50. <laughs> Only 50 people, they are not even more than 100. But the fact of the matter is, within the organization, we as SABC, we want a, a black and white and Indians the rainbow nation of Nelson Mandela, to produce the content for the SABC equally so. But they should understand that we must prioritize people with disability. We must prioritize those people who are emerging now. Now is their time. But we need to work together so that we can achieve that. And we need to applaud the SABC. More than 600 million rents <laughs> has never happened. Let's give it the because, the floats. <laughs> because I need to deal with this notion that SABC is not sustainable financial. When the boxing is back, everything is bad that people have been crying about. That shows SABC is doing better. My former CEO here and COO, he knows that. <laughs> the SABC could never do that, but now we are able to do that. But what is important also for us, SABC, we are ready to migrate. We are already testing all our channels as we are talking to you now. Uh, even those channels that are sitting on the multi-choice. But you know what? You choose in life. Partnership is all about choosing. You can't go and choose someone who's collapsing tomorrow and you want to, business, to do business with that. I need more business from multi-choice to invest so that we can empower people. Mm. And what is important that I need to highlight is, for the first time, I hear that the minister, your team, they were talking about, hey, you, SABC, you must pay royalties. We are paying royalties now. We have started. The department is saying that now I'm making sure that if you ask the actors, they will tell you we are paying royalties. We are paying the artists, the musicians, for the first time. There was no money. There is money at the SABC. Don't take what you are reading at the, at the newspapers, because they ask is to mislead, because they are competing with SABC. And here's the COO. Not the, uh, sorry, COO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, 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 here, here is the COO. The CEO is not new at the SABC. We have fighting these battles together about the encryption. And what is important about the court minister? We as SABC, we said the public funds 
should not be used for public sector, no, for private sector, mm. for private sector. Because people who are fighting, the reason why they are fighting, they want the government to invest in public, uh, uh, private, uh, sector. In, uh, private sector. We were saying, no, government can't do that. If, please, uh, government, you have money, invest in local content, assist the SABC, build the studios in different uh, 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 provinces, and I'm happy. See, oh, that matter is gone and does that. The court agreed with SABC. Now we are ready to roll. Okay. Mr. McCurtain. Well, thank you, Peter. <clears throat> I think the, the, the issue of content that is raised by uh, the colleagues here, it's an issue that has preoccupied everyone. Uh, a few weeks ago, as the minister indicated, even the ministers of SADC took very important uh, decisions about yeah. how now do we fill the space on these multiple channels? Um, are we all, or the challenge is that of Africans again allowing their national asset to be, to be colonized, mm. to become culturally colonized, and we cannot allow that. As a result, they took a decision uh, to support the establishment of a, a regional digital bouquet, which is going to draw content from all the broadcasters and will be carried by the DTT platforms of all the countries. So in a sense, it means you'll be getting about 14 channels uh, that come from the neighboring country. Mm. Very important for us in South Africa because it will enable us to confront issues such as xenophobia. We will now begin to see uh, channels that tell the mm. story of our own people that are living around us, from Malawi, mm. from Mozambique, and as they live back at, at home. And we will also be telling our story through the, through the SABC and all the FTA okay. channels on us. So the exchange of content as well in the region is, is, is going to be a very critical issue. Okay. I'm cognizant of time. Two very quick questions I'd like to call. Uh, first of all, table number eight, is that Noam Sayang? Sayang? If you could just say your, your name uh, when you stand up, and then if you could get a microphone to table number five and Paul Masego. Uh, these two questions will be the last two from the floor. So table number eight, Noam uh, Sayang. Thank you very much. Noam Sayak from Telemat. Just a quick one. Uh, as manufacturers, we really want to start manufacturing the box. Um, the only thing that's missing is the definition of the set of box control. Any idea when would, let, when would that happen? Thank you. All right. So when will the specs be released to manufacturers? So that's the first question. Paul Masego. Thank you, Peter. And my question is related to the set of box question. Uh, and the question has been asked on behalf of Centex customers, and I think uh, customers of most broadcasters, the audiences want to know. We've seen the timelines, Mr. McGuitley. Um, when can people buy the set-top box? If we've spoken about the subsidized set-top box, but when can I, as Mpoma Sego or anyone else, actually gain access to the set-top box? Because people are looking forward to the compelling content that we've been speaking about. But if we cover that question, we'll be here. Okay, all right, so we're running out of time, so if you could answer very briefly. Um, specs for the manufacturers, and when will these boxes be actually be able to get them at the post office or in the uh, shops? Well, to be we are getting these good questions, very good mm. questions about this process now. Uh, first question, the definition of the set-top box has been clarified by court. The court has made um, a determination there will be no encryption, no conditional access in the subsidized box. And I repeat, the subsidized box. That does not stop you putting that in the non-subsidized box. And I think the court decision makes that point very clearly. Uh, yes, we know there is an appeal or whatever, but, but I think the matter is very clear. The court has made that point very clear. And I'm, I think for the manufacturers, the path is, is, is open. Of course, pending you delivering in terms of SANS 862, the conditions that are required and, 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 and outlined there. Very interesting, that is a manufacturer. Someone asks, when will we have the set-top boxes? Because one of the key time frames for us 
is being determined by the manufacturers. From what we understand from the manufacturers is that from the point when they receive the purchase order from USASA, then it will take them a lead period of about six to eight weeks, uh, which means we expect that set up, we are not going to stay here on television when exactly. When we are ready, the minister will make the announcement. Oh, right. But it is very soon within this period now. I'm going to have to stop it here because we run out of time. And this is a discussion we could have uh, for quite a long time. But we will revisit this periodically, Minister, I'm yeah. sure. And uh, we'll keep our public up to date. But I just want to say thank you very much indeed to the Honourable Minister of Communications, Faith Mutambi, SABC COO, Mr. Claudio Mutsuneng, Deputy Communications, DTT Program Head, thank Mr. Soli uh, the Chairperson of Centec, Mr. Mahato Melo and the chairperson of Usasa, Ms. Pumla Hadebe. Thank you very much indeed for joining us and uh, sharing your thoughts with us. And to uh, you at home, thanks very much for watching and being part of this conversation. Take care, everybody. We'll see you at the next one. Bye bye.